Okay, for this episode we're going to be making another shop project. Um, basically that project is a jigsaw plate which essentially is just a plate that is uh, clamped to your workbench and you basically mount your jigsaw to the underside of it. Uh, it basically creates um, a, like a mini scroll saw or, or bandsaw. Um, basically because I haven't got a bandsaw or don't currently have a bandsaw I thought it would be quite a nice neat little idea um, for me to uh, be able to do smaller pieces with my jigsaw because obviously when you're uh, going around with your jigsaw it's quite hard to get you know quite tight corners and whatnot or curves and stuff so I, I should imagine it would be a lot easier if it was uh, mounted upside down. Okay, so what I've done is I've measured the front section of my bench here, the depth, and it's actually 200 millimeters. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut two pieces out of uh, 200 millimeters by the 12 inches of the uh, base plate here, uh, and I'm going to glue those both together, and then I'm going to basically screw, uh, screw and glue the uh, base plate to the um, front section here. Uh, hopefully, that should uh, create enough support um, for the weight of my jigsaw, I'm sure it will. Um, okay, so what I'm going to do now is I've got a 3mm drill bit here and I'm just going to put it through just to make my first mark for my blade to go through. So the base plate of the uh, jigsaw already has a hole uh, put through it. I'm not sure what that hole originally was for, but it's, it's been there ever since I bought it. Um, so what I need to do now is I need to put four or three more holes in it, uh, one in each corner. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a metal punch, mark out where the holes are going to go, and then I'm going to drill through. Okay, now that we've drilled the holes, we just need to make sure we get all the burrs off. So next I'm just going to countersink these holes because I'm going to be using some M5 countersunk machine screws to attach the jigsaw to the base plate. So for the next step I'm going to attach the front section of the support to the base. Like I said before, I'm going to glue and screw this up. Hold it in place. So what I've done here is I've clamped the now it's glued and I've got one screw in there to hold the uh, bottom piece onto the plate, I've uh, clamped it to the bench. Uh, what I'm going to do now is, uh, well, what I have done is I've put a line across to show where the screws are going to go, uh, and then I'm going to start um, screwing it up with some self-tapping screws. What I'm also going to do is just countersink these holes. What I've also done is going to cut these little triangles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue two of them together and then that's going to brace corner like so and they're going to be glued and screwed like before this piece is in. So what I'm going to do now OK, 
Okay, so that's basically it for this project. Um, there is a slight um, design drawback to this uh, project, as I've uh, now realised, uh, now I've made one, uh, which is why I'm glad I didn't spend the money on one, um, is the fact that obviously when a jigsaw blade um, is cutting, generally it cuts down first and then up. Um, that seems to be the problem um, with with the design of this, because the blade's going up rather than because obviously it's the reverse and down, you're having to actually put quite a bit of pressure on the piece of wood um, on the plate for it to cut. Um, the bad thing about that is uh, I won't be able to do which, <coughs> what I was hoping to do is um, little um, intricate, more intricate type um, pieces. So really it's going to be more for just cutting stock up, um, slightly smaller than the average piece, um, but not really tiny intricate pieces like I like I said, like I originally planned. Uh, but nevertheless, it will still get some use because um, it is still quite a handy little thing, and it didn't take that long to make, and it was only scrap project, uh, scrap material really. So the other little issue I find with it is it does tend to vibrate a hell of a lot, which is kind of annoying, which which means you're kind of shaking around as you're trying to cut the wood through, and obviously it makes the bench vibrate like mad. Um, but nevertheless, I hope you got some use out of that project. Um, and it was a bit of fun, I suppose. Um, and it, like I said before, it will get some use. Um, so thank you for watching. Like always, um, please uh, subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, feel free to leave a comment. And please check out my um, my Facebook page. Uh, it's not got a massive amount on there at the moment because I haven't had it up that up and running that long. Um, I will be adding more to it, but it'd be really great if any of you guys out there could add your projects to it or comments or whatever um, and please feel free to um, put a little like on on any of my videos um, so until next time take care